Hello guys, listen, welcome to your look at the markets for this <clears throat> uh, Tuesday, November 26, 2018. Listen, we get the midterm elections, that's what we got. And I'm going to tell you, uh, if, if the Democrats do a sweep, which I don't think they're going to, <laughs> I really don't, but if they, if they did, it could be devastating for the markets. Seriously. And uh, we're just going to take a look here at Zero Heads just for a second. And uh, the most outlet, most likely outcome appears to be that the Democrats will take control of the House, is what I'm reading here. House of Representatives. This wouldn't be good, you know, if they do. Uh, they're predicting that they have an 88% chance of winning the House, uh, but they only have a 19% chance of winning the Senate. So let's uh, let's not hope that they win too much because it would be very negative for the markets. Now, uh, we're going to get our charts started right here, and uh, we're going to move over to cryptocurrency first, and we're going to take a look here. It's at $6,415 for the day. And uh, the uh, the volumes are kind of low right now, uh, but here's the thing: Bitcoin is a little bit more bullish than it was, honest to gosh, uh, in the last little bit. It's it's holding at 64.15. It's got a, a solid floor under it at six thousand dollars. And here's the thing: uh, there's signs out there that Bitcoin is starting to make the transition for the first time ever, for the first time ever, it's, make it, it's not there yet, it's just, start, just starting to make a transition between a speculative investment and a safe haven asset, a safe haven asset class. Uh, people are starting to hold Bitcoin in their portfolios, quite seriously. This is actually starting to happen, and the more people that hold it in their portfolios, as a safe haven investment, the more it will become a safe haven investment. Uh, let's take a look at cryptocurrency market capitalizations right now. Uh, it's right now, we've we've moved up uh, to 215.9 billion. Uh, so it's it's it was like 211 yesterday. Bitcoin dominance 51.6 percent. We're looking at Ethereum and XRP in a war between them for dominance of the second position. Uh, XRP for a very brief period in time, I think, was number two. It's moved back to number three again now, uh, but it's 53 cents for for each XRP, which which remember last week it was in the 40s. Uh, so I mean, it's moving up, moving up in the world. Now let's take a look at the silver price today. A more bad news for silver. Silver just, I mean, it is stuck in a rut. But I'm going to tell you what. I should do a show this afternoon. I have a little theory about gold and silver, and I think that they're going to break free very soon, and I'm going to run the show by you guys and see if it makes sense to you guys too, my reasoning. Uh, I'm going to do the show maybe this afternoon or maybe tomorrow afternoon. I'm going to try to get it in this afternoon, uh, a show on that. And uh, I, I, I see a little something that could actually happen with gold and silver that could move the price up quite a little bit if it does happen and i'm going to run the scenario by you guys and see what you think this afternoon okay uh so let's take a look at the dow jones uh the dow jones is not quite open yet we got one more minute one more minute until she opened boys oh boy i can't wait to see what she does today uh <laughs> it's just like opening up a christmas gift on Chris on christmas day you know I want to see what the Dow Jones is going to do. One only one more minute. I gotta wait here. Now let's take a look at uh, crude oil prices today. Sixty-two dollars and ninety-three cents, and we've seen a little uh, drop off in the price of crude. Now I'm going to tell you, crude is extremely important in price of crude. People don't realize the effect that it has on the dollar. The price of crude. Crude was the big thing that they held in their back pocket to try to. Uh, uh, give the dollar more value uh, when they knock the price of crude down. And I believe that that was all done on purpose uh, at one point in time uh, through investment uh, in shale oil uh, and shale oil investments. Uh, I believe that they that they were basically behind the scenes, the powers that be, uh, kicking the money in there to the banks and letting the money kick the, kick the money out into new, new projects to do shale oil investment. 
Uh, and there's a reason behind all this, and I'm going to get into that uh, later. I'm going to do more uh, more information on that probably in a show. I'm going to probably produce in the next day or two, uh, and how that relates to silver. Uh, now let's take a look at bonds and rates today. Bonds and rates. Uh, the bond yields are are going up all except for the longest end of the yield curve. But I'm going to tell you, I think that might switch a Rooney later uh, on in the day. Uh, so we're going to have to wait and see what happens there with that, uh, the, the U.S. 30 year. I think that might switch a Rooney and, and it might start to rise too. But the U.S. 10 year is rising, the U.S. 5 year is rising, uh, the 2 year is rising at 2.91%. Uh, look, that 2 year right now is the same price or higher than the 10 year was just a week or two ago. I mean, that's how quick these things are moving back up again. The U.S. 10-year is almost to that critical rate of 3.25% that I talked about, but it's not quite there. So we're, what we're seeing right now, as these bond yields slowly rise, we're seeing a slow rise in the stock market. This little rally in the stock market, I, don't, I, I, I predicted it a few days ago, and I said that, it could actually make new highs in the stock market, this little rally that we're having right now. Uh, but I didn't think it would make new highs. Uh, I think it's just more or less uh, a rally where money is coming in uh, and uh, from the uh, from the buybacks and stuff, bond buybacks and stuff. And, and, uh, and uh, I, I think it's only a temporary thing uh, that's setting us up while the the bond yields continue to rise. And uh, at a certain point, I think this is all all going to fall apart and we're going to get another one of these, looks like a correction to everyone out there. Like we've had a correction back in January. We had a correction just last a week or two ago. And now this is setting up for the third correction. People are going to say, oh, look, it's another stock market correction, you know. And... This one, this next one, I don't think is the correction. I think this next one is the crash. And uh, <laughs> I think that's going to be what's going to open and start the next recession. They're going to call it a recession. Actually, I think it's going to be a very severe recession slash depression. And that's what's coming down the pike very quickly now. I don't think it's two years away. I think it's only a matter of months away, if even that. Uh, so now let's take a look at uh, the Dow Jones right now. Uh, we're going to have to refresh the page. We're still in this little rally. It's up 28 points today. Uh, I think that the rally is starting to lose a bit of steam now. But we do see the volumes have increased a little bit uh, going into this rally. Uh, it's... it's, uh, it's, it's I think it's going to run itself out, and I think it's going to take. I think it's going to take the stock market up around twenty-six thousand before it peters out. Uh, I don't think it's going to go too far beyond twenty-six thousand, but I think it's going to take it up a little bit higher than it is right now, and then this is going to peter out, and then what we're doing is, well, as this is petering out, you're going to see the bond yields, especially keep your eye on the ten-year, rise up towards three point two five, and when that happens, this is the big one. We've had one strike. Back in January, where we had a correction, we've had another one, just this peak right here, uh, in the 2018, the 10th, the 3rd. Uh, and now we've seen a, a correction, almost the equivalent of the correction we had back in January. All these guys out there are just going to think this is another correction. They're going to say, hey, you know, this is just another correction. And uh, they're going to treat it the same way until it really goes to slides. And when it really slides, that's when they're really going to get nervous and stuff, you know. Uh, so let's take a look at the U.S. dollar index today. U.S. dollar index, 96.22. It's, it's basically holding steady just under 97 on the U.S. dollar index. Uh, 97 is the mark that the, uh, that the, uh, all of these, uh, uh, all of these uh, uh, emerging market economies have problems paying back their debts. 
And so the higher it goes past that, of course, obviously, the harder it's going to be for them. Um, that's a disaster waiting in the wings. Uh, Deutsche Bank, you know, let's talk about Deutsche Bank just for a second. We'll cover it. Uh, they found the pr stock price on Deutsche Bank went up just a little bit, ticked up to nine euros, nine plus change euros. It's fallen back down into the eight range. Uh, I checked it this morning. I keep my eye on Deutsche Bank. Uh, so I don't know who would buy into Deutsche Bank stock right now, but somebody seems to have bought in a little bit. But now uh, what's happening is it's now they're selling off again. Uh, the negative sentiment around Deutsche Bank is going to continue. Deutsche Bank is, is something that could all by itself bring down the world's entire financial system. All by itself. And so could Italy. Italy could too. Uh, but uh, then again, on the other hand, you have uh, the BRIC exit coming up in a few months from now. Uh, that's a big one. Uh, I'm telling you, there's just so many things out there uh, that are brewing and ready to pop. Uh, not not just the, the all the bubbles that the Fed created over the years. Anyway, listen, I'm rambling on. Thank you guys for listening to this uh, report. Uh, I really appreciate my uh, my support that I receive from my viewers out there. It's very important to me. And uh, this has been your market report for this day. And uh, stay tuned, and we'll have another one coming right up tomorrow. Bye-bye, guys, and see you later.